all to the galley. Today on the galley, cream and mushroom soup. Billy's out of town. He's not a big fan of mushrooms, so I'm indulging in some cream of mushroom soup. It's a cold, drizzly, rainy day, so it's a perfect time for some cream of mushroom soup. So I've got a pound and a half of mushrooms here. I've got creminis, but you can do any kind of mushroom you like. You can mix and match, whatever makes you happy mushroom-wise. And I know that everybody says, don't put mushrooms in water. They'll soak it up. They're a sponge. Well, they are. They, they will soak it up. But I'm not going to let them soak in the water. I just want to give them a good rinse. And especially these mushrooms, they felt really gritty and dirty. I don't want my soup to be gritty and dirty. So I'm just giving them a rinse. And then I'm going to dry them off and cut them. So I don't advise you to let your mushrooms soak in a lot of water. But, you know, it's okay to have a quick dip in the water. I'm not sure if you can see just how much dirt is in that water. But I'm glad I gave them a wash. So I've got my pot heating up. And while that's heating up, I'm going to go ahead and get all my mushrooms sliced. So to my pan, I've got a half a stick of butter. And I'm going to do about a tablespoon of olive oil and to that I have a diced onion, two stalks of celery. You can actually add a little carrot there if you would like as well. And I'm going to go in with a pinch of kosher salt to help that start softening up. And we're going to let this cook about three minutes and just let those vegetables soften. And next I have three cloves of garlic minced. I'm going to add that, and I'm going to start adding those mushrooms. And it's going to seem like a lot, but they cook down. Oh, this is going to smell amazing. There's something about the smell of onions and butter and celery and mushrooms cooking. And then we're just going to cook this about five minutes. Just let those mushrooms cook down. While I'm waiting for the mushrooms to cook, I'm going to make a seasoning blend here. And I'm making this one easy for you, so I'm going equal parts everything. One teaspoon paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, dried celery flakes. If you don't have dried celery flakes, that's okay if you admit this one. Actually, I'm going to change my mind, and I'm going to go with... <laughs> two teaspoons of celery flakes and then back to one teaspoon of the thyme. It's a great thing about cooking. You get to change your mind, mix it up, change it up however you like. Quite honestly, I could just I could just eat a bowl of these. I love them. And now you gotta make some choices here because you can leave your soup with all the mushrooms like this, or you can puree all of it and make all of it um, puree or you can take some of this out now and then your soup will be kind of a mixture of both puree and this. I like the mixture so I'm going to take some of this out maybe about a third and then we'll put that back in at the end. So now to our mushrooms down here we're going to add that seasoning mix that we made. Plus, we're going to add a half a teaspoon kosher salt and half a teaspoon of my mixed pepper blend here. And then we want a half a cup of flour. Oh, I almost forgot. I like to do a little dollop of Worcestershire sauce. That umami goes great with mushrooms, I think. So we're going to do a half a cup flour. And when you're making a roux like this, you want to cook this for a minimum of one minute because it really takes that minute to cook this raw taste out of the flour. So I always just give this a minute or two. The nice thing about mushroom, this cream of mushroom soup is really in about 30, 35 minutes, you can have 
yourself a pot of soup. Now, while we're waiting on our mushrooms to finish cooking here, this is another thing that you have with some choices. Now, you can do this with sherry, you can do this with brandy, you can do this with red wine, you can do this with white wine, but you want a little bit of something to deglaze here. If you really do not want any alcohol, that's fine. Just up your stock by a cup. But I'm going to add in a cup of red wine. Sherry is my number one choice here. I just don't happen to have any sherry, so I had to go with the red wine. And then we're going to let that cook down for about five minutes. Next we're going to add three cups of stock. Beef stock would probably be my first choice. Or chicken stock or vegetable stock. And then we want a cup of heavy cream. And now we're going to let this come to a simmer. And then we want to simmer for 15 to 20 minutes. So that was quick. An easy 15 minutes. Now we're going to puree this. Now, you can obviously do this in your food processor or your blender in batches, but I'm doing the, the beautiful immersion blender. Oh, and I think I messed up. I think I said three cups of chicken stock or beef stock, but only two. I'm not sure where the three came from. Definitely need some kosher salt. I'm going to do a pretty good pinch of that, and I think a little more pepper. I'm so excited. I'm going to go sit on the couch, put a movie on, and eat mushroom soup. It's like, it's like the perfect afternoon. Alright, let's see. It's delicious. Now, you can go ahead and dump all of this in and just have a kind of combined, or you can save some of this and kind of garnish the tops of your soup. Either way works fine. I'm going to do the garnish thing here and go have myself a beautiful cup of cream of mushroom soup. Now, obviously, there's a lot more color going on here than in that uh, can of poison they call cream of mushroom soup, huh? <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Easy cream of mushroom soup, ready in 30 minutes. You can have this on this table. Thanks for watching, y'all. See you later. Bye.